I admonish myself and all of you with the taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is the counsel of Allah Subhanahu for the early people and those who came later. As Allah mentioned in the Quran, verily Allah admonished you and those who came before you with a taqwa. And Allah Subhanahu, He sent His Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and He chose the best of mankind to be our Prophet. And He chose the best of the Prophets and the Messengers to be our Prophet. And then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He chose us to be His Ummah, His people. And He made us the best and the most virtuous of nations. And therefore, are we deserving of this virtue? And are we deserving of this goodness without doing actions? No, by Allah, we are not deserving of this virtue and this goodness without performing actions. And Allah Subhanahu Wa mentioned in the Quran that you are the best of nations. Why? Because you are enjoying with goodness and you forbid evil and you have Iman in Allah. And on the day of resurrection, when people will be drowning in their sweat and the sun will be brought close and every person will be in need of water, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will be granted his hawl, his pond. And the only people who will be allowed to drink from the hawl of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are those who follow his sunnah. However, around the hawl of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there will be angels who will guard the hawl and they will prevent some people from drinking from the hawl. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from his mercy he will say, my people, my people, and they will reply that you do not know what these people did after you, meaning they changed and they innovated and they did not follow your sunnah, they did not, they, they did not follow your guidance. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will say, suhqan, suhqan, meaning be far away, be far away. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, wretched is, is the one who worships the gold and wretched is the one who worships silver, gold coins and silver coins. Meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he made a supplication against those people who are almost enslaved to gold and silver that they shall, that they shall be perished and wretched. And this is what we see with our eyes. And this is what we see with our own eyes. So you see a person and he's never late for work. He's always early for work. But when it comes to the Salah, and when it comes to praying Salah in congregation, then he does not bother. And yet the Prophet Wasallam, he said regarding the Salah, that the delight and the coolness of my eyes has been placed in the Salah. So if you're from that person, if you're from those people who are early to their work, and they never miss work, and yet they don't bother with Salat al-Jama'ah in the masjid, then you have a share and a portion of the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that you should be wretched and at loss. And therefore you should make the dua, O oh my Lord, make us from those who establish the prayer. O oh our Lord, accept our dua. And this is what I say, and Allah knows best. Thereafter, Ya Ibadallah, this Prophet وسلم, he was hurt and harmed in the way of Allah. And the Prophet وسلم, he said, I was hurt and harmed, and others were not hurt and harmed. This means that the Prophet وسلم, he faced struggles and difficulties and harm in order for this religion to be conveyed to us. And the Prophet وسلم, the last words which he advised with, the last words which he counseled us with, was as salah as salah, the prayer, the prayer. He used to emphasize the importance of the salah, and nobody during that time would ever delay or stay back from the prayer in congregation. And from those seven groups of people who will be shaded on Yawm al Qiyamah, on a day in which there is no shade, one of those seven groups of people is a person whose heart is attached and connected to the Masajid. 